now 814. Cases of whooping cough are on the rise in the United States and here in Louisiana. In fact, here in Louisiana, the Department of Health says the increase in cases could result in a record high for the state this year. Dr. Rena Mehta from Uptown Allergy and Asthma joins us to take a closer look. Dr. Mehta, good morning. Thanks for joining us on our brand new day. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So let's first remind our viewers what the whooping cough is and why this is such a dangerous uh, disease for especially small babies and small babies and children to come down with. Okay, so whooping cough is caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. Okay. And the concern is that the cough is so violent and so aggressive and so we worry about our little babies who are not ready to be quite vaccinated yet because their little bodies can't handle it their airways are tiny their lungs are tiny so when you have such aggressive coughs they can actually get apneic where they stop breathing and get hospitalized and it could be a pretty dangerous thing and that sound coming out of such a small body mm -hmm. is also terrifying for parents and for caregivers so it's not even something you want to see happen uh, talk about why we're seeing this this rise in cases not only across the u.s but mm -hmm. here locally in louisiana Okay, so this is a preventable disease in the state in the sense that we do have vaccinations against it. So there are vaccines called the Tdap that we do in adults, which is tetanus diphtheria pertussis, which is protective and you should get it every 10 years. But what you know, the immunity to that wanes over time, it fades. And so if you're not keeping up with your boosters, then certainly you're more likely to get it. And then it's a very highly contagious disease where you can pass it to other people and children get it in the form of DTAP, okay. which is again, diphtheria tetanus pertussis, but you can't get that vaccination series as a child until you're two months of age. So that's when our four week old, five week old babies are more at risk. And so because you have small babies that can't get the vaccine, what should expectant mothers, mm -hmm. relatives, small children in the families be considering talking about if they're going to be having a baby in a family pretty soon that can't get that vaccine. That's a great question. So it's very routine in pregnancy in your third trimester of pregnancy to get this booster because the hope is that the mother can then pass on some protective antibodies through the placenta to the baby. So it's really important that pregnant mothers do get this vaccination and then anybody who's going to be in close contact with the baby is that grandparents is that you know the father other siblings should actually get the booster as well to make sure that that baby is protected because this is called the hundred day old cough which means means it, you can cough for months and months and months. Wow. It also means that you are infectious, even though you might have symptoms initially, you're infectious and shed the virus for, or the bacteria for three weeks after you get it. Wow. So it's highly contagious and that cough can last for months. On top of the vaccine, I know parents and people always want to hug babies and kiss on babies when they're so small and new and cute but you shouldn't really be doing that for a lot of different reasons. And this is one right? exactly when, when a newborn gets a fever and gets really sick, that can become very complicated because their immune systems are immature. They're not able to fight those infections like older people are. And so often, you know, who we do see hospitalized from pertussis is those babies and there is a risk of death. And so that is concerning. And so trying to protect those little ones against this really horrible cough. I was actually practicing the cough at home with my children because it's a very, very distinct cough. It's like a, <laughs> so, so when they're like gasping they're for gasping air. for oh air goodness. so it's that inhalation that really can can be really hard to get in and it's, that's why they call it the whooping wow. cough all right well dr matter thank you so much for that reminder as we're seeing a spike in cases here in louisiana and across the country thanks for your time